Fighting and beating kidney disease takes more than eating the right foods. There's some things you need to avoid and some things you should limit in your diet. And I'm going to tell you what those are coming right up. Let's get right to it. Here are the things that I limit or avoid. Number one and most important, pain relievers. Those non-steroid anti-inflammatory drugs. Heavy or long-term use of these medications such as ibuprofen or higher doses of aspirin can cause or even worsen kidney disease. As a matter of fact, the use of Advil for over a year is what caused my kidney disease. Next, high sodium or salt foods. Avoid these. You don't need it. Excess salt increases your blood pressure. And remember, blood pressure is the number two cause of kidney disease. It puts a lot of stress on your kidneys and it can cause damage if your blood pressure is too high for too long. Now what I do is I have a maximum of 2,000 milligrams a day. And some doctors may put you on an even lower maximum. I've even seen people as low as 1,500 milligrams a day. Now you want to look at your blood work and see where you stand with your salt. But 2,000 milligrams a day is an easy target to hit. You know, it takes a little bit of effort and it'll probably be the healthy target for pretty much everyone out there unless you're on a really low restriction salt diet. Make sure to read those labels, check the serving sizes, because they can be tricky on there. You may see some small little uh, item that you want to eat and you look at the box and the serving size and all the calculations are based on only one third or one half of that item. So then you've got to double or triple what it says is the sodium content. And when I talk about that 2,000 milligrams, that is an entire day. So if you break that down into meals, when I look for a meal, I try to stick under 700 milligrams for an entire meal. That can be difficult if you're not diligent. Next, you need to avoid heavily processed foods. It looks convenient, it looks easy, but these are just loaded with so much other stuff and so much low quality ingredients that it's gonna wreak havoc on your kidneys. This includes hot dogs, most TV dinners and quick serve meals, and believe it or not, canned food. And you may think, oh, this one looks great, it has a heart on it, and it says it's heart healthy. Turn that puppy around, look at the label, read the ingredients. Oh my God, it's going to be loaded with just so many bad things, so much sodium. So high processed food, off the table completely. Artificial ingredients. You don't need them. Avoid artificial ingredients. Read the label. Anytime it says artificial ingredients, artificial flavor, artificial color, don't buy it. These are just extra chemicals that are going to put extra stress on your kidneys. And there's a tricky one out there. It could say artificial and natural flavors. Natural flavors are still chemicals that are artificially injected into that food to give it that, that taste of that. So a natural strawberry taste are chemicals that taste like strawberries. Now, if it says it's flavored naturally with strawberries, that means they actually added strawberries to it to give it that strawberry flavor. So keep a good eye out. Artificial ingredients are all over the place and you don't want them. Here comes a heartbreaker, high potassium foods. I avoid any food that has the word potassium or any of its abbreviated forms on the ingredients. Look on there. Pot or anything that says pot on it, that's potassium. Now this is also in a lot of natural foods and here's where it gets sad. Avocados, bananas, cantaloupe, honeydew, oranges, kiwi, 
chocolate, tomato, spaghetti sauce, potato chips, potatoes, and yogurt. Potassium is very common in practically everything you eat. So you don't need to add anything extra and watch out for foods that are really high in potassium. Now, similar to high potassium is high phosphorus foods. Do not purchase or use anything that has the word phosphorus added to it or any of its abbreviations. So look for chemicals that have pho, P-H-O in them. There are also a lot of foods that are naturally high in phosphorus. You need to limit, or you need to limit those. Those include milk, cheese, ice cream, yogurt, asparagus, corn, dried fruit, whole wheat bread, pancakes, waffles, bran muffins and bran cereals, chocolate, caramel, pizza, and beer. Dairy. I know, I'm getting a lot of things on the list here. I personally avoid all dairy except organic light cream cheese and low sodium Swiss cheese. Dairy is loaded with animal proteins and those are really, really tough on your kidneys. They really stress it out and they cause your kidneys to go into hyperfiltration mode shortly after you eat them and that can last for hours. Next, soda and juice. Soda is loaded with so many chemicals that you don't need and the darker the soda, the worse the chemicals are. They're just going to wreak havoc on your kidneys and put a lot of stress. And when it comes to juice, believe it or not, even those fresh squeezed ones that you see in the cartons at the store, just juice or whatever, they're loaded with all sorts of stuff. Even salt and extra sugar. If you do want to drink juice, limit it and get either fresh pressed juice or get a juicer at home and make the juice yourself. That way there's nothing extra being added to it. The best thing though, when it comes to drinking, stick with water. Now you've all heard me talk about this one so many times, but it is so important. I limit, don't avoid, but I do limit, and I limit greatly, animal protein. Animal protein is very, very tough on your kidneys. Now don't get rid of protein because you need protein. Just reduce the amount of animal protein that you eat. And this includes dairy, eggs, things like that have animal proteins in them. Look for plant-based proteins. You know, you can find those in your vegetarian section of your supermarket. Even better, go for vegan. The vegan fake meats are absolutely great and they have plant-based um, protein in it. Most of them are non-soy. Soy can cause inflammation, also inflammation of your kidneys, which reduces how well they function and it leads to more stress. So limit, don't avoid, but greatly limit the amount of animal protein in your diet. We're getting close to the end. Next is sugar. Sugar and all of its different names, fructose, glucose, high fructose, corn syrup, oh, all sorts of ways that sugar makes its way into the food that you eat. It's very important to control your blood sugar. Diabetes is the number one cause of kidney failure. 44% of all new cases are caused by diabetes. And nearly everyone who is diabetic, if you live long enough, you're going to have kidney damage. So it's very important to also manage your sugar. And anything that has an excessive amount of sugar per serving, I just avoid it. Next to last on my list is eggs. Now, eggs are a great source of protein. You know, they're easy to cook. They're great when you're on the road and you're traveling. So when I'm at home, when it comes to eggs, I limit myself and I stick with pure egg whites. Be careful, read the carton if you're buying it in the carton because a lot of those, again, extra ingredients. So make sure all it is is pure egg whites. I you know, eat those occasionally for breakfast, but I do limit those. Now when I'm on the road and I'm traveling, which I do often, 
I'll get the full egg scrambled eggs when I'm at a, a hotel or something like that. Or if I'm at an airport and I've got a layover and I'm flying across the country and I can't find something healthy to eat that isn't loaded with uh, phosphorus or anything like that, I'll go to McDonald's and order just scrambled eggs. So they'll scramble them up for you. They use a real egg to scramble up. Yolk and all is in there. But I do limit, I don't avoid, but I limit the amount of eggs. And last on my list, and probably one of the more difficult things to limit or to avoid on your diet, genetically modified food and non-organic food. So first of all, let's do organic food. That's the simplest of the two of these. When you have a chance, pick organic. Don't be sitting there telling me no bull crap that it costs too much. No, 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 no. A whole thing of apples, I get a pound of apples, it's about 10 cents more for a whole freaking pound to get organic. Buy organic. There's excess chemicals and all sorts of stuff. On regular food, the organic, at least you're being careful and not getting these extra chemicals that you don't need that are gonna put stress on your, ki your kidneys. And who knows what else they're doing when they're floating around in your bloodstream. Now, genetically modified, GMO. First of all, they're not telling you everything that is modified. Because some people are wondering, is it really safe? And there's a recent study, several of them, but there's one from 2017, another one from 2018, that when it comes to liver damage and kidney damage, there is evidence of genetically modified food especially corn, causing damage. So I avoid as much as possible anything that is genetically modified. If I'm buying something and it's in a box or a packaging of some sort, I look for vegan. I look for um, organic. I look for non-GMO. Those are important labels to help me pick the right food. All right, so that's it. The items that I limit or I completely avoid in my battle to beat kidney disease. Hopefully this is helpful for you. It's not going to be easy. It took me a long time to find the right things to buy, the right things to eat. But knowing what to avoid really helped me find things out there that fit my diet. And remember, your diet is based on your blood work. Look at where all your levels are. If you're on the low end of potassium, you can have more potassium. If you're low end on the phosphorus, you can have more phosphorus in your diet. Don't settle for the, don't eat no chocolate. Okay, look, you can have certain chocolates. If it's not loaded with sugar and it's in you know a small amount, you can have it. And there's you know some great cocoa, real chocolate out there that fits into most people's diets as long as your blood work says you've got room to add that and you're not going crazy eating chocolate every single day. So again, hopefully this helps you. Hopefully this inspires you to be more vigilant when you're reading labels and you're selecting food. There's a lot more options out there than you think. And knowing what to limit or avoid, I feel really opens it up on what more is available that you may not have considered. As always, if you find this video helpful, please share it with somebody else you know that may benefit from this. My goal is to educate, but also, and probably more importantly, to inspire others to fight kidney disease, to beat kidney disease. You can do it. You know, losing is not an option. You've got a team here. I'm part of your team. Go to YouTube. Subscribe to my channel for Dadvice TV. Click the little bell icon. That way you get notification every time I upload a new video. And I'm putting out more and more of these as the weeks go by. Also, join me on Facebook. Let's have a live conversation. I will share my opinions and my experience with everyone. So look for Dadvice TV on Facebook. I am a certified kidney coach and 
I'll share everything I can to help you be better at fighting kidney disease. And then last, visit dadvicetv.com, my website where I'm continually adding more and more information to help, to educate, to inspire. Thanks for watching. Thank you.